Jacksonville Jaguars backup running back TJ Yeldon catches a touchdown pass against the New York Giants. Brad Penner USA Today Sports by Neil Greenberg September 9 at 4.58 p.m. in today's 24-7 news cycle, where information is disseminated and dissected ad nauseum in print, on video or on social media, it is difficult to target sleepers, players no one knows about, in the draft. Instead, one has to be vigilant on the waiver wire to find diamonds in the rough that can help lead your team to a championship. After all, few teams will look exactly as they did once the draft has been completed. For example, many owners selected Pittsburgh Steelers running back Le'Veon Bell early in the first round, only to find he wouldn't suit up for week one, and possibly longer due to his contract situation. That opened the door for backup James Conner to total 192 yards from scrimmage with two touchdowns, showing just how much backups and surprise contributors can add to your lineup. Unfortunately, Conner is already owned in over 85% of leagues, leaving you out in the cold if you wanted to get him on your roster. Sean Williams ejected for hit on Andrew Luck. James Conner electric in place of Levy and Bell, but there are still a number of attractive options on the waiver wire, players who made the most of opportunities in week one, or who appear, will occupy larger roles than we anticipated on draft day. To help you prioritize your waiver targets, we are updating our top free agents after every round of games every Sunday this season. What follows are the top early targets from the 1 p.m. games, as well as the Thursday night game. Most of these players should be available in at least 30% of leagues utilizing a 12-team, point-per-reception, or PPR, scoring format. So if you see one of these guys on your wire, you are going to want to put in a claim for this week. TJ Yeldon, RB, Jacksonville Jaguars, available in 92% of the SPM leagues, Jacksonville starting running back Leonard Fournette was ruled out of Sunday's game against the New York Giants, after suffering a hamstring injury, pushing back up T. J. Yeldon into the stop spot for the Jaguars. Yeldon wasted no time getting into to the end zone, catching a one-yard pass from Blake Bortles late in the second quarter. He ended the game with 14 carries for 51 yards plus three catches on seven targets for another 18 yards and a score. Yeldon will get the Lions' share of the carries for the Jaguars if Fournette misses any significant time and his ability to catch passes out of the backfield. He hauled in 30 of 41 targets for Jacksonville last year, gives him even more value in PPR leagues. George Kittle, T, San Francisco 49ers, available in 62% of leagues, Kittle scared fantasy football owners after he suffered an injury in week one of the preseason, but the team's co-starter at tight end led all teammates in targets, 9, catches, 5, and receiving yards, 90, during the opening matchup against the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings' defense proved to be too much for the 49ers' offensive attack, but for a position like tight end, where opportunity is key, it looks like Kittle is already a favorite of quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. Jordan Wilkins, RB, Indianapolis Colts, available in 62% of leagues, the Colts gave Wilkins the ball 14 times with three targets in Game 1 and he rewarded their trust with 61 yards from scrimmage. Having a healthy Andrew Luck helps keep opponents guessing as to what the offense will run, but there isn't much standing in the way of Wilkins having a productive season. For Sharp Sports, Indianapolis has the easiest set of games in relation to each defense's ability to limit the efficiency of the rush.
The question with Wilkins will be what role he assumes when the injured Marlon Mack returns. But in the short term, he's a worthy addition. Philip Dorsett, WR, New England Patriots, available in 96% of leagues, range